hi you guys and welcome to my youtube channel it's been such a long time i know I'm so busy with my masters and now that summer is around the corner and i'm finishing soon i have a bit of free time and i decided to do a video of the best products for your skin hair makeup and body five 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 each i'm gonna review each one of them and some are actually best sellers and others are not best sellers they're just my favorites they made it to this video the top five of everything ever since i moved to london i have so much choice of products to use for my hair my face my body it's too much choices and really it took me a lot of time to know what works the products i'm already wearing right now uh, i wish you could smell or see the difference the before and after i think we're gonna start with the category of hair doing a lot of research invested into taking care of my hair and honestly i don't think it has ever looked this healthy apart from using less heat which is obviously very very important i use maximum twice a week also sleeping on a cell cushion is so 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 important like i thought it was just like a marketing hack you know your skin's gonna be better your hair is not gonna get frizzy it actually doesn't and it's investing in one is so good try to get two so that you keep on constantly washing them first thing is first i am so in love with this tried so many different oils for my hair some leave the hair greasy others don't smell that good or don't smell at all. I like a little bit of a scent. And this has like a very natural scent as if it's your smell. Like, you know what I mean? Not like some chemical flower. It's as if you just wash your hair and it's a mix of your own oils of the hair with this thing. I like to take two drops or half of my hair. So, and then I mix, mix, mix. And I very lightly just homogeneously put it through i like to put also on top even though i do have an oily scalp but i like to press to have all the flyaways go away i don't know if you guys can see the shine because i just applied but i love this thing and it's um it's good to travel it's a small size it's not like a glass bottle if you're clumsy like me it's good next stop is this baby so I struggle from oily and sometimes even dry scalp. It has like, it's this new technology for the hair. I use this maybe two to three times a week. I put it here, I massage it with my hands. You could massage it with one of these, you know, but I just line my hair in different sections. And this is how. This thing is the result of this hair cutter like i do not like red or orange undertone they do come in natural hair color like i was born a redhead like it's basically red and orange together but i don't think it's flattering when you dye your hair and it comes out without you wanting it i'm going for cool ashy neutral tones and then all of a sudden after a few washes i get orange or red it's not what i want if i wanted that i would directly go for a redhead tone so can you see the the coolness i put this yesterday for 15 minutes it's a green mask that removes undertones it is so good i thought i think i'm not gonna go to a hairdresser like you know how they put the toner this thing is like amazing i am so happy with this i'm gonna keep on getting this for so long it's part of a range i use the whole range it's fine but the Next, going back to Ori Bay, super shine cream. It adds shine to the hair. Even if you put it on your hand and you're not gonna wash it after putting on your hair, it's so light. I love this thing and it smells, it smells like, I don't know, but it reminds me of how I used to play Barbie as a kid. And when you open the box of the Barbie and there's smell of like, before i continue talking my nonsense pause and look at the shine and look that the hair is still bouncy it's not like pulling it down or making it heavy it's shiny yet naturally bouncy i love it i feel like i'm a barbie when i use this last but definitely not least is this thing the living proof dry texture spray i've been putting this on my insta the way i use it just Apply a bit, seriously, like this much on each side of the hair. 
and you brush it, you smell like, I don't know, you're just out of an advertising campaign for like shampoo. Now, using a fusion of food takes the organic experience. And look, and this stays like, you're welcome. Now that we have finished hair and discussed everything and I'm smelling like all my favorite hair products all at once and I feel like it's so nice to share and not to gatekeep forget about products like okay these are things that some people might think oh they're so unimportant and you're so superficial yeah you're right but they are stuff you use every day and you would like to have a nice experience in these little moments whether it's at the beginning of the day or at the end of the day they relax me, I feel good and why not make the experience just a little bit better? anyway, philosophy on the sides skincare for under the neck I am very picky because smell plays a huge role and texture and a lot of products just you put it on, it either sticks, it either like rolls, you know, like you do this and then it like rolls off or there's a residue for me but we have a couple of nice things here for example Laura Mercier the negative for me but some people prefer that but it locks in moisture so much after I exfoliate in the shower and my skin is super bare no barriers this thing comes and just replenishes everything now that it's summer I love 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 to use body oil but it should smell good again and it should really absorb like I don't want my clothes to remain stained and I don't want to look like a shimmering kind of Christmas tree I want to look shiny but like in a subtle way you know that shine that models wear on the runway but a little bit less subtle because there's no light so this this is also used for the hair but i don't like it on the hair i love it on my body especially on my legs if i'm wearing a short skirt or shorts so basically the three body products we spoke about are all about moisture anti-aging things to wear during the day but this baby over here as you can see it's already empty bio oil i have been using this for three years especially on areas down here are uh, prone to stretch marks cellulite all of these things put this a good dose on these areas at least three times a week especially after you exfoliate i don't know i feel like I, there's a big difference many dermatologists and doctors say that nothing can change that but it works now we're going to talk about skincare first step of my morning and night routine is rose water and before i used to just take rose water from the supermarket and put it on my face but the smell isn't amazing and i found this one it also has aloe in it so any redness you have in the morning any puffiness just goes away or even with a full face of makeup i can and it just adds zen and just I like this thing i'm actually not a big fan of skincare that's not pharmaceutically backed this is beauty brand but it works amazing especially when you're tired and you have to wash your face put a slap on some fresh makeup and you don't have time for a face mask or like all of the steps of your skincare routine this thing it can also be applied under the eyes so if you're traveling this is all in one it's not really moisturizing but it adds like this youthful glow and it just plumps everything everything is firm i love this thing it also comes in an eye cream but you could use this it says you could use it under the eyes so for under the eyes i have this which i really love it's the sisley sisley l'intégral anti-age it comes with this thing which is so cute this roller sorry for my nail and just i also use it to contour other parts of my face another augustus augustinus rich face mask i use it every night it just locks in all of the retinol and the uh, adapalene and what else do i use exfoliations ha bha this it's like very rich and so comfortable on the skin they also have the cream which i also use but the rich the fifth product that goes into my skincare top five is the junk elephant sukari baby facia warning with this one my skin sometimes is super sensitive, so I don't use this. When it's like toned down, no breakouts, and I use this for like five minutes, everything becomes just as, as if I had fillers, Botox, 
um, I don't know, removed all the blackheads, the smoothest skin, no acne. It's just really good. It's made out of chickpea, chickpea flour. And, but make sure your skin is not super sensitive or flaring. Because sometimes I put this when it is and I misread my skin and it just burns. Make sure to take it off. You don't want your skin to burn. You don't want it irritated. This is powerful. Just know when to use it and yeah. And now for the last category, makeup, which I love so much. And I, to be honest, I have the most experience in that. Since a teenager, I have been all over the place and I love trends. And talking about trends, this thing. I'm using the color Hope. I just dab a bit. Like, dab like exactly two dots. I use these two brushes. First this to blend it out. Put some on my nose. And then something like this. The color for me, this one, is so natural. I feel like it's the way I would blush normally if I did, but I don't. I wonder why. This, it really is blur. Um, it erases all types of blurs. It's so 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 good as a primer and it also keeps your makeup on for the whole day literally it removes pores doesn't remove them but it covers them so well literally you can't see and i know this is not a makeup product but still i will include it the foundation brush it comes like this I always use sponges till i discovered this thing it's a bit angled but the bristles are so nice and they also cause like a blurring poor blurring effect when i apply and it doesn't leave any like straight what i notice is if you want less coverage you just keep on dispersing your foundation or concealer everywhere you know but if you want more coverage you just tap 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 wait for it to set and dry do another later layer and it just builds it in so much more seamlessly than sponge or honestly any other foundation brush that i used Next is this concealer by Terry. So hydrating. And most of the concealers I use, especially under the eyes, tend to be very dry and you can see the concealer. Look at the brush, how pretty. Nice, the application is nice, the smell is nice. You guys notice, even for a makeup smell, is important for me. Part of the experience that I love is also the packaging of a product, especially when it's a powder. You take this usually in your bag, you apply this to touch up. So you're gonna do this in a powder room or in a bathroom or you're in a car or somewhere. And just, it should be so comfortable for you and also pretty if you care about that. When you take it out of your bag and then there's also a compartment for the sponge, which is so cool. You don't need to carry a brush that's gonna be contaminated in your bag. Covering is so nice, it's not too thick, it's not too thin. Perfect for summer when you feel like you're getting a little bit too glowy. Last but not least, the Kylie lip liners. I know they come with uh, these smart lipsticks, but I love them alone. I wish she could just sell the lip liners without these, but they come together and I found that these two shades, when I mix these two shades, the color suits me. Alone, I've, I haven't discovered a shade that works for me. They don't budge and they also keep your lips hydrated. There is nothing on this planet Earth, no lip liner that I put on and it doesn't stay like for 20 minutes, it's gone. I don't know. I don't drink, I don't eat, I don't talk, it just disappears. But these two, it, they have stood the test of time and restaurants and drinks without a straw and just... They just stay and they don't dry the lip, which is really important because there are products that stay, but they kind of crease and you look like, I don't know, like a... So basically, you guys, we've covered all of the top five and all of the four categories. I feel like I was a judge and we all are. We all have the choice to choose what to put on our faces and on our hair. We want to present ourselves to the world. These are things that I use every day or almost every other day. I really love and I hope you guys enjoyed. If you have any questions, 
I will be answering comments and let me know if you guys want any other ideas. Thank you so much for watching and make sure to subscribe. I want some cool things and they will be posted soon. And please let me know what are some ideas you guys would want to see or see me do or see me talk about. Like just let me know.